Hello friends, today we are going to see how to print a matrix in spiral form. So let's see. See, this is the matrix and what is the spiral form of this matrix? What the spiral form means? So I will just draw it here. See, the spiral form is A, B, C, D, E, then J, O, P, S, R, Q, P, U, F, G, H, I, N, M, V and here it will end. If there is an inside matrix then it will go to that inside matrix and again print spirally. But as this is the last inner matrix so this is the end it will end at v so now let's write code for it see this is the function that is print spiral and we will execute this function on this matrix and i will tell you each line i will explain you now see m n and matrix are passed to this function m is the total number of rows n is the total number of columns here total number of rows are 4 and total number of columns are 5 ok and the matrix is passed. Now integer i is declared i will trace the matrix k equal to 0 and l equal to 0. So k will be first initialized to 0 and l will be initialized to 0. As you go further you will understand the purpose of these variables. Now last row is equal to m minus 1. Obviously, as the index starts with 0, if there are 4 rows, then the last row index will be 3 because 0, 1, 2 and 3. So, last row is m minus 1. So, this is the, I just clean it. So, this is the last row. This row. Then last column is equal to n minus 1. So this is the last column. This column. Okay. Now. While k is less than or equal to last row. And l is less than or equal to last column. Means obviously when we are going to print the matrix in the spiral form. Then we should not go means this variable k should not go beyond last row and variable l should not go beyond last column that is the condition for i equal to l i is less than or equal to last column see so i will trace this first row as you know in the spiral form this is the first row printed so this for loop or this block of code is for printing the Printing the first row. This is the first block of code. Print the first row. Okay. Now i equal to l. i is less than or equal to last column. See if i starts from l. It will go till the last column. That is what it means. And i plus plus. So print matrix of k i. So as this is the first row. See, matrix of the first index represents the row and the second index represents the columns. So here you can see the row remains the same, only the columns get changed because A, B, C, D, E, they are in different columns but in the same row. So K is constant and I changes according to the for loop. So K I means it will print a b c d e and then we do k plus plus as the first row is printed so k should go to the next row now for its further work because first row is printed and k's work for the first row is done so k plus plus okay now <laughs> now the second block of code this is the second block of code and this block 
prints the column this is the last column see in the spiral matrix what is the order first row last column then last row then first column again inside the inner matrix see this is the this is the inner matrix so here again first row last column last row and first column this is the way the spiral matrix is printed so see here now we have printed the first row and now we will go to the last column see so for last column i equal to k as we have already printed a b c d e we should start from j now we have to start from j we have to start printing from j so k has already gone to the second row means the first index row so i equal to k means i equal to k to the last row this is the last row so i will range from k to the last row okay see for i equal to k and i is less than or equal to last row i plus plus print matrix of see first the first index represents the row here rows are changing and column remains the same so we print j o t here the rows are changing i will range from k to the last row as you know here j o t and they are in the same column so i and last column i is a variable here from k to last row then last column minus minus as the last column is printed now the variable last column should be now decremented because the last column is printed and its work is over so variable last column is decremented to the second last column now the variable is 4 now it will become 3 so it will point to this column right so i will write it here again last column equal to 3 and here also i will write last column now this is the last column because that is decremented now <laughs> so why do we decrement this because as we have printed the last column now last column should be decremented so that this variable can be used for the next inner matrix next inner matrix will be traced in the next while loop next while loop but now next inner matrix will be traced only after we print the remaining last row and the first column of the outer matrix still we are yet to complete the outer matrix after we complete this outer matrix then we go in the inner matrix and when we go in the inner matrix this variable is useful this last column okay now let's go here this is the second block of code which prints the last column now if k is less than or equal to last row as you remember we have incremented k here so in the flow of the code in this if condition we are just checking when we did this k plus plus has it not gone beyond last row means is k still less than or equal to last row we are just confirming this here okay now now you may ask why didn't we confirm it here also because here also we are using k after this k plus plus here also we are using k but here automatically it is checked as i is equal to k so value of k is assigned to i and this i is less than or equal to last row is checked here so that gets automatically checked here okay so in this case also we 
check it explicitly because inside that does not get checked so we have to check it explicitly now let's uh, check for i equal to last column i is greater than or equal to l see here i is equal to last column yes i will range from last column to the first column because we have to print s r q p a b c d e j o t now s r q p as we know already last column points to the third index that is the second last column we are making use of that variable for making i equal to last column to the first column and l is representing the first column the l variable is pointing to the first column so we are writing here i equal to last column to the l and i minus minus now print matrix of last row i see the row remains the same and i is the variable so last row from the last row all s r q p will be printed here now this block is over so this block prints the last row now the remaining thing is the first column see here after uh, i missed one step after we print the last row as the last row variable work is over we have to decrement this last row variable so that we can make use of it in the inner matrix the next inner matrix now see if l is less than or equal to last column we are just confirming whether l is less than or equal to last column because we had decremented last column here here this variable has been decremented and we are just checking whether l is still less than or equal to last column means this increment has not taken it less than l it should always be greater than l so we are again checking it now inside for i equal to last row i is greater than or equal to k see as the last row variable is pointing to u we have printed up to p now so now u and f is to be printed so as the last row variable points to the second last row we are making use of that variable so i equal to last row i is greater than or equal to k obviously k is pointing to the first row so we are making use of this variable k and we are writing a condition that i will range from last row to k now and we print i l so i is a variable because we want to print u and f so i will go from last row to k and l is constant because the first column is constant so u and f is printed now you can guess why l plus plus is done because the first column work is done so we have to increment l to go into the inner matrix now you check all the four variables that is l last column k and the last row all are pointing to the inside matrix see l is pointing to the first index last column is pointing to the third index k is pointing inside that is to the first row and last row is pointing to the second row means if we consider all the four indices they show us the inner matrix means we can again continue inside the inner matrix in the next iteration of the while loop now again we will go inside for the next iteration see whether k is less than or equal to last row k is not yet uh, means k is less than or equal to last row yes k is less than or equal to last row l is less than or equal to last column yes l is less than or equal to last column now here we have to print the first row so g h i is printed 
after printing the first row k will go down as you know the first row task is over so k will be incremented then the last column is printed for the inner matrix the last column is printed so then last column will last column variable will be decremented so it will point to this last column then again uh, i will write this k inside here this k i will write inside for the inside matrix now so first row is printed last column is printed then last row so last after printing the last row this last row will go up so last row is here now it will decrement from 2 to 1 and then the first column so after we print the first column that is there is no variable remaining in the first column so for in this for loop only that will be terminated means it will not go inside this for loop so in the last uh, column after we print the first row then l again decrements so l decrements and goes to uh, the second index that's okay but now again in the next iteration of this while loop check k less than or equal to last row does not satisfy because k is now greater than the last row so here this loop is terminated and as you can see all the elements are printed here so our printing of the spiral form is over and we come out of this while loop so this is how we print the matrix or a 2d array in spiral form hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you